All right, I had to come back for the second portion of this. Um, my battery had died on the last one. That's why you hear me say, ah, oh, I was mad. It, I've seen it shut down as I'm talking. But what I was saying about Deontay Wilder is, um, by you guys, you Deontay Wilder haters, by your own admission, he fought the top heavyweight of this era three times. He fought Luis Ortiz, who was one of the top heavyweights of this era, twice. I mean, an uh, amateur legend. He fought him twice. Well, I won't say he's an amateur legend, but I'm saying he has a, a strong Cuban amateur background. That's what I mean to say, which kind of makes him, you know, the upper echelon because we know we all know about the Cuban amateur system. I mean, he basically grew up, literally grew up at a boxing gym. They're trained to be left-handed, by the way. So this is like his whole life has been mapped out for him. Nobody will fight him, except for Wilder. He ended Dominic Brazil's career, and Dominic was one of the top heavyweights during that time, coming into the fight. Taller than Wilder, or just as tall, and much bigger than Wilder. Brutal first-round knockout. And Deontay Wilder was hit hard in that. Right before he knocked him out, he was hit hard. Look at that fight. He hit De Deontay Wilder. I mean, he hit uh, Dominic Brazil pretty hard. And then just defensing himself in the corner, Do Dominic Brazil hits Wilder, kind of startles him. They end up clinching on the other side of the ring. He comes out of the break. The, uh, the referee breaks him up. He comes out, walks, off, walks up to him, and hits a walk-off home run. Literally. Um, he took uh, uh, Bermain Stavern when Bermain was the heavy, was the champion, top fighter in the division. He took him 12 rounds with an injury, beat him up. Um, come back, destroys Bermain Stavern. I mean, back, I mean, I can go on and on. So he had 10 title defenses. So you got to give a man his credit. He, some would say, knocked out the best heavyweight at the time. So it's a, it's a big argument that Tyson Fury has been knocked out twice by Deontay Water, but got a favorable count. That's what's been said. I'm going to give Tyson Fury his credit, though. Because of the dynamic of, that I explained in the first video, the, the racial component, and that a lot of these people who are rooting against him have some issues, have racial issues, they have to now go back and give him credit be, so it can solidify their great white hope that they're not going to support after this. They're only going to support him if he knocks out a big black boogeyman. They're not even going to... American... White Americans in uh, other cultures, I mean, it's a lot of Hispanics that was going for Tyson Fury, which is crazy. But these Americans, non black Americans, who are rooting for Tyson Fury against Deontay Wilder, are not going to watch him fight Anthony Joshua. It's going to be a big fight, but only because it's a, U, a good, big UK fight, a big overseas fight. So overseas people are going to watch it, but n Americans are not going to watch that. You need a big black black American boogeyman to fight him. Deontay Wilder is that guy. You know? So I say I'll just say this. Right now, there's there's no dispute. Deontay Wilder is the biggest name in boxing, especially in the heavyweight division. He creates the drama. He brings the drama, even the drama to get Tyson Fury back into the ring that created more drama. Remember a year ago when nobody wanted to see this fight allegedly? It's the biggest fight talked about this whole year. Unless Terrence Crawford knocks out Sean Porter, then that makes him and Earl Spence a big, a big, a big fight. But I don't think he's going to knock out uh, Sean Porter. So who's bigger than, who's bigger than Deontay Wilder? The way you know. That a fight, there's no fighter bigger. That a fighter's the biggest name. 
when he has a very, very loyal fan base and equally loyal haters. Deontay Water has more haters than anybody in boxing. People just hate him for really no reason. But it's making him money. Remember those no-namers that you said he was fighting, like the Dominic Brazils, and you said Luis uh, King Kong Ortiz? Who else? No, what other no-name did you claim that he fought? They knocked out. Remember when he knocked out Gerald Washington? When Gerald Washington was an uppercomer that was like 18 and 0? He's bigger than Deontay Wilder, better. And he was winning against Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder knocked his ass completely out. Nigga ain't been the same since. Can you name one fighter? Since I'm rubbing my fingers together. Can y'all name one fighter that has been the same since he fought Deontay Wilder? I love King Kong Ortiz, but the motherfucker knocked somebody out with the softest body shot I ever seen in my life. He ain't been the same since. I mean, he'll still knock out the rest of these heavyweights, but who has been the same? And mark my words, like I told my homeboy, don't miss that Tyson Fury could be a totally different fighter. Don't let that go over your head. Name one fighter that's been the same. He ended Malik Scott's career. Luckily, they had a brotherhood. Ended his career off of a blow that hit his glove. Didn't hit him. I'm just saying. Where's Spilka at? Who's the little French dude? The, well, I say little. The big French dude. I forget his name. Where is he at? Where is Bermain Stavern at? What happened to Dominic Brazil? Um, there's got to be. So who else? He's changed lives. He changed the game. Where's Kelvin Price at? Where are all these guys at? Anyway... I say it again. I'm going to end here because I have not been asleep tonight. It's 5.13 in the morning. I'm supposed to wake up at 5.30 <laughs> to get my kids, start cooking for my kids, get my kids ready for school. And I'm still at my office. I got to go get them. Oh, my goodness. And start my day. That's crazy. So, hey, salute y'all, man. I'm going to try to come back with some other shit. But I just wanted to get that out there because I just thought it was an interesting conversation to have with my friend. It was more that I wanted to say, but like I said, I got to hurry up and go get this shit ready for the kids. I'll probably say that for the next time. I'm trying to knock out some videos this week. Shit, a lot, really, for the next, i say, five or so months. Because, um, yeah, I'm recovering. From this knee thing. I don't even have surgery yet. I'm hoping to get cleared for surgery November 18th. Like I said the other day. And um. Yeah. Shutting down. <laughs> wow. <laughs>